Hello Reptile Lovers and welcome back to my build series. My name is Sven and today we are finally get some tools in the hand. We will build my aluminum cage for my reptile, especially a monitor lizard. So first of all, let us have a look what I got here. I told you it's a big puzzle of aluminum parts. Put them down here on the ground, get a big box of aluminum parts. And today we try to make a cage out of it. Um, I have a few tips before we start to build this. I have a few tips uh, that you keep in mind if you want to build something out of aluminum. Uh, the first tip and it's really important, um, check the box when you get it, if all parts are in there. There are a lot of different pieces and a lot of different um, profile types. So double check everything uh, for that there is no part missing. Um, the next tip is, if you see down here, I did it, uh, put the pieces you want to start with. I want to start with uh, the box section on the ground. Oh, look at this, I forgot somebody. There is Woody. Woody is waiting for his, no, for his new cage. So I put the, the box section, the lower box section parts on the ground and I double check everything uh, that there is no missing parts. The next tip is, this is really, really important. I want to show you something. Uh, for example, look, this profile type, it's a corner piece, look at this. And it's the same corner piece like this one. It looks the same, but let me take both pieces. No, that's not the right one. Look at this one here, over here. Sorry for the camera moving. So. If you look here, mm, don't know if you see it, both are stand on the ground. There is a tiny little difference in length. So you have to double check everything exactly if it's the right piece. So because if you put this together, to put these corner pieces into the aluminum profile, it's really, really difficult to separate them if something is wrong. Uh, the next thing you have to double check is, I showed you this part and look at this part. They look the same. Wait, I put it here on the gray, on the gray ground. Look at this. It looks the same. But if you move it around, you will see a different. This one and this one. And if you try the weight, this one is way heavier because there is a metal piece in it. So this is really strong and this is a normal one. And on the, on the um, drawing I got from the customer, oh, you can see it, the customer I got this profile from is Marine Systems Alsopla. It's a company who built all those aluminum parts and I got this drawing from him. And you see 
those black markings these are the points where those heavy duty corner connectors connectors has to be so keep this in mind to double check that you take the right connectors the next tip i want to give you is you have to use some tools you need a rubber hammer something to measure you have to use a file and now a really really important thing is you need something to lubricate the corner pieces so it's easier to put it in the aluminum parts the customer said it's easy to use this is like a dishwasher in germany we call it spüli but now it's really important for you guys for every lubrication you use for whatever wd40 or whatever we call it in germany flutschi you can use flutschi everywhere you want to lubricate something so keep this in mind flutschi is the way to go so i put the stuff in a little bowl i have a few paper towels here and now there is the next tip so think about use lubrication and if you want to put it into this aluminum profile i want to use a file to clean this edges a little bit so it's way easier to get this connectors in it so i think this is enough of talking um, one thing is uh, i want to tell you if you uh, try to put those connectors into the profiles you have to use a rubber hammer not a normal hammer because you won't you will damage something and you have to only use a hammer on these connector pieces don't hammer on the aluminum parts because you will damage the aluminum profile and then it's really difficult to get this connector into so think about it put the aluminum part of on something it's like this wood or something soft material and then hammer the connector into the profile so okay uh i think that's enough uh i will put you to the side and i will try to put my first connector into the profile and we will see how it looks so the first one so i double checked the pieces i want to connect so i take the first one and the first profile like I told you, I take a file, clean the edges a little bit. So, nice and smooth. Then, I take the connector, double check in which direction. Double check it really, so you don't make a mistake look at your connector okay this connector has to be like this okay this will fit and then <laughs> take your flutchy put it over here a little bit yes that's enough and then put it into the connector where are my paper towels i will have a look right now so Put it on the soft part, take those hammer, look it's all straight and even, and hammer it inside, okay? And it has to look like this, hopefully you can see it, it's perfect. So that is the first part, okay? So hopefully you can see it, 
this is the connected piece okay and now we have to do the other side it's over here check your connectors yes it will fit and this one no this one look at this doesn't work this one goes here and we have to take this connector and put it in here so okay again so take your aluminum profile take a file clean the edges so everything is nice and smooth let me have a look yeah that's okay so take your right connector yes that looks good <laughs> okay take your fluchi okay like this looks perfect paper towel take your hammer take your profile put it in the right direction double check everything okay everything straight and let me have a look like this you can see this and it fits perfect okay so the first part is ready and now I think if you have a look over here all the materials all stuff here it's time for time lapse so I will first build the bottom part and yeah me and Woody we will see us when I'm ready with the box part so stay tuned So this was a quick time lapse. So look at this. This is the whole bottom part. Fits perfectly together. Look at this aluminum corners. Perfect. So now <laughs> I will be I will build this bottom section. I don't use this time lapse. You know already how it works we will see us when i'll be ready stay tuned holy smokes guys look at this bottom box i got it finished it's like the bottom part we can you can see there will be the pond and look how huge it is and how really nice it fits. Look at this corner part. How it, it's cut. It looks amazing. So imagine the bottom part, there will be like PVC plates uh, glued in it. This up in the front here, there will be a sliding door to get to all the electrician pumps and filtration system down here and there will be a cave and look how many spaces in here i can step in it there's woody and notice there is 
profile with this lip there will be uh, a wall glued in it and on this side there is no lip because this side will be also a sliding door and there will be glass and over here oh man this is small in here there is no lip on it because the whole front will be a sliding door so now <laughs> i have to build the top box section where all the lightning will come in so i will go for it see you hello guys i'm ready look at this beauty what do you think how does this look it fits perfect in here see on the top there will be the box for the lightning down here is the big box for the for the pond and all the ground stuff then over here over here there will be a sliding door <laughs> i can interact directly from my couch into the cage and over here the whole side will be a big sliding door and this wall here is glass everything is glass except of the wall over there so i think you see that i didn't connect it the middle part over here because i want to pull the top part off again so i can easier put my pvc plates in here and over there because i have to glue it and uh, the top one and the bottom one i have also to screw it in so it's easier to don't put it together right now yes and i know it isn't on the right spot i told you the whole thing will move halfway over this step because of the room space and then i can put my filter down there okay this is for this episode it was really not uh, really easy to put this stuff together when you take or when you notice my tips from the start of this video so the next one will be putting all these plates in but first i have to measure all this stuff and try to to get all these plates in these weird times because all over like uh this uh yeah the markets where you can buy those stuff is still closed in germany i tried to get it online yeah and now i see you on the next one bye bye i'm back again like every video i forgot uh important thing i will put the plates in in the next video but i also will build the platform and the box section for the pond and for the cave so stay tuned and we'll see you